This is State Representative Tom Bennett with an update from the Capitol. This week, Illinois expanded coronavirus vaccine availability to everyone over age 16. Some counties had already opened up their vaccination eligibility to everyone, but now the expansion is in place statewide. The news came as positive tests continue to increase, with the average number of positive tests moving above 3,000 per day for the first time since early February. If you have not been vaccinated, go to coronavirus.illinois.gov or contact your health department to find a nearby vaccination center. This week, House Republicans called on Governor Pritzker to honor his promise to support an independent redistricting commission instead of enacting a partisan district map when the districts are required to be redrawn later this year. One of the biggest problems in Illinois state government in recent years has been too much power concentrated in too few hands. A partisan redistricting process has been one of the tools to accumulate and retain that power. I hope the governor will keep his word and refuse to enact a district map that was drawn for partisan purposes. Nearly 700 bills passed House committees this spring, but many good ideas were left behind, including bills dealing with ethics reform, property tax relief, and pension reform. Democrats promised to work together with Republicans in this session, but of the bills which were allowed out of committee, only 18% of them were sponsored by Republicans. Thus far, the pledge to work together has proved to, to ring hollow. This week, House Republicans spoke about the failure of the House of Representatives to pass bills dealing with our state's problems. It's a real disappointment to have reached this point and to have seen no substantive action on easing the state's tax burdens or fixing the corruption plaguing state government. To get all the latest news from state government or to sign up for my weekly email newsletter, please visit repbennett.com.